The first ever transgender world's champion Nyla Rose has gotten herself and AEW into a bit of hot water with the Oklahoma State Athletic Commission, of all people, who suddenly have a hard-on for biological males wrestling biological females. Wrestling, as in professional wrestling. As in a fake, phony, scripted entertainment sport. Not a real sport. But the Athletic Commission in Oklahoma doesn't seem to know the difference yet. They still believe it's real, goddammit. Let's hop on over to the Washington Post, of all places, for a write-up in the details on this one here. Oklahoma officials tell trans pro wrestler not to compete in their state. Wow, that's fucking wow. Oklahoma's Sports Commission has asked a nationally televised professional wrestling promotion to not have a transgender wrestler face off against other women wrestlers again. Never again, goddammit. Oklahoma sport, uh, Washington native Nyla Rose, who works for All Elite Wrestling, was warned by the Oklahoma State Athletic Commission not to wrestle another woman. According to the minutes of the commission's January 3rd meeting, the minutes were first reported by the blog Real Wrestling on Tuesday. Good for Real Wrestling, whoever they are. All of this was over a December 20th match in Oklahoma City that lasted 120 seconds, bell to bell between Nyla Rose and Alejandra Leon. Can't say I caught that one. Rose won after landing a powerbomb. Who cares? After the match, she took a cowboy hat off the head of a fan in the crowd and put it on her head for a big applause. Rose responded to the Oklahoma news by tweeting, Don't worry, Oklahoma. I'll find the dastardly transgender that checks notes, entertains fans. How dare they make people happy? The commission used the wrong pronouns for Rose in their minutes. Oh, no, dear Lord. And said Rose should not have wrestled a woman. CEO Tony Khan was disappointed. Transgender athletics have become a hotly debated topic. Yada, yada, yada. So here's my take on this. You ready? I get that transgenders in athletics is a controversial situation, right? Uh, transgender, you know, uh, male to female fighting another female in the UFC that's not a good situation because a biological male is by all metrics bigger, stronger, tougher, faster, all of those things than a biological female. Now, of course, could Ronda Rousey kick my weekly ass? Yes, of course. But Ronda Rousey can't kick like her husband's ass, right? Travis Brown or whatever the fuck his name is. So you get the point. But pro wrestling isn't a fucking sport, Oklahoma. I don't know if you guys have been around the last 30 fucking years or so. I know you're Southern. I know Jim Ross comes from your home state, and you're very proud of that. You got your OU football we got going on. Wouldn't want one of them transgenders on our football team. I get the argument for athletics. I do. You know, the Riley Gaines situation with the swimmers and all that stuff. I get it, but pro wrestling is not the same thing. Uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys can hear anything in the background. It appears there's some people doing some yard work or pressure washing their fucking house. I don't know what's going on here, uh, but it's noisy outside. Hopefully that's not picked up on the camera here on uh, the microphone. But God damn, it's not a real sport. Do you guys watch pro wrestling? There's been little people that have fought giant people, uh, King Kong Bundy against all the little people at WrestleMania 3. There's been mixed tag matches. There's been uh, Becky Lynch punched Dominic Mysterio in the face. Can't have that. Transgender... I'm sorry, intergender matches have been happening in professional wrestling since the 70s. Did Oklahoma ban Andy Kaufman when he was... Look, this is an entertainment. This is, this is a, a fucking show that they're putting on for the fans, okay? It's scripted. 
you go out there and you do this, you do that. There's no biological male on biological female full force contact. Now, yes, wrestling is physical. Yes, people get hurt. Yes, if Nyla was swinging haymakers at a little fucking tiny little Barbie doll, she would probably kill her. I know that. But she's not. And Nyla, by all accounts, is very well liked, fairly safe in the ring. She's cool as all fuck. You know, if you follow her on Twitter and shit, she's funny as hell, bro. Uh, look, I support Nia. Nia uh, I was going to say Nia Jax. Nyla Rose. I support Nyla Rose in this situation. Uh, now, if this was a legitimate sport and she was trying to legitimately complete, compete against other women, I get that beef. That's a whole separate conversation that we don't need to get into any further here because I don't want to get canceled. But for the sport, the great sport of professional wrestling, where it's scripted, predetermined entertainment, a show for the fans and the crowd, and Nyla Rose is at her core a fucking entertainer, get over it, Oklahoma. This is fucking stupid, and it's it's outright prejudice. It's, it's prejudice because you're picking a fight with a transgender person over something that is not an actual competition. Unless you guys really think that wrestling is a real sport and competition, which, again, it's Oklahoma. Sorry for any Oklahoman listeners uh, to, to the video here, but uh, God damn, your, your state athletic commission sucks. <laughs> they have no concept of reality. Uh, this is the same as fucking somebody beating up Black Widow in a in a fucking Marvel movie, right? Thanos punches Black Widow in the face to get her off or whatever. I don't think that happened particularly. But I'm sure at some point Black Widow came up against a, a, a man, a man, manly man, right? And I'm sure she got punched or kicked or, or hit or shot at or stabbed or whatever the fuck. In the course of that uh, interaction. So it's the same thing. It's a show. It's entertainment. Get the fuck over it. Uh, I think what I would do if I was Tony Khan is I would protest this by uh, running there again and booking Nyla Rose in the fucking main event. Or, or at least booking her in a very significant role, a prominent role, and, and just throw the middle finger up. Take the fine if you got to get fined. If that's the way Oklahoma wants to do shit, let them do that shit. But uh, we're going to keep wrestling there, and we're going to keep presenting Nyla Rose to because fuck you. That's why. Now, as for anybody out there who's like, yeah, well, Nyla Rose is a man, technically. Well, yeah, sure. Technically, biologically, she is. But this is a fake, phony sport where none of that shit matters. It's about characters. It's about personalities. It's about getting over, making a connection with the fans. And doing some wrestling moves in between. And Nyla does that just fine. So it doesn't matter who she, he wrestles. It doesn't matter what your politics are on this. Wrestling is outside that bubble. It's an entertainment show. Men can wrestle women. Now, do I want to see this a lot? No. I don't want to see full-on intergender matches. I do look at Nyla as a woman. Uh, sorry if that butt hurts your politics or whatever, too. But, uh, you know, I when I look at Nyla, I don't go, oh, look at that dude in there beating up all these chicks. No, I look at Nyla as a woman. Um, so the whole thing's just stupid. And I think I'm going to quit talking before I get myself in any more trouble here. This is a hot button issue. It's a hot topic, believe it or not. But I think Oklahoma is way in the wrong here. I think they're behind the times. I think it's... Kind of embarrassingly stupid, to be honest, because it shows that they are taking a fake, phony entertainment sport as an actual competition contest in which a, a biological man would have a significant advantage over a biological female. But that's just not the case here. So shut the fuck up. Fuck off. <clears throat> Tony Khan needs to run Oklahoma again and put <clears throat> Nyla Rose on billboards and shit. That's what I would do. I would buy a billboard in Oklahoma with Nyla Rose on it and say AEW tickets available just to piss off the athletic commission. I know she's not the top star. She's not going to draw the house, 
but it's going to piss off every single person sitting in that room, and that's totally worth it to me. But that's just my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts down in those comments below. And uh, look, man, I ain't going to bite your head off if you want to get a little political or a little edgy. If you state your piece, say what's on your mind. We ain't going to fucking ratio you in the comments over it. If you're like, yeah, dude, a man should not be wrestling a woman ever, period. Okay, fine. That's your take. Leave it in the comments below. I will respect that take as much as, yeah, fuck Oklahoma. Nyla Rose uh, doesn't deserve to be treated like that. But she took it in stride. You know, she had a, a fun little joke about it on Twitter, and that's what she does because she's the shit. And I highly recommend following Nyla Rose. And if you are uh, kind of against Nyla Rose just because she used to be a guy, like, come on, come on. She's cool people. So that's where I'll leave it. Peace, love, and pizza. I am your boy, Seth Grimes, and we'll catch you in the next video. Oh yeah, thanks for checking out the video, yeah. Don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like it if you liked it, yeah. And you can check out full episodes each and every Sunday right here on the channel. Oh yeah, dig it!